Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and I'm basically wrapping up my grind for Guardian Games. I wanted to give you all a few tips as to exotics that helped me out on my journey. So let's get right into it. Armor first. There are a couple pieces of armor for each class that are going to stand out as really, really beneficial in helping you get your ability kills either more frequently or for certain bounties and classes. So I'm going to run through them as quickly as I can. Let's do this. So the big standout for Titans and probably what I used for most of my grinding and mini activities was the insurmountable skull fort. Basically arc melee kills grant health and melee energy. So if you get an arc melee ability kill, like say if you do a shoulder slam or if you do a seismic strike, um, any of those that actually get a kill are going to recharge that melee ability and you can turn around and do it once again. So it's really, really beneficial. You can jump up in the air with Ballistic Slam, slam down, kill a couple. Jump up in the air, slam down, get a couple. You have to be kind of sprint jumping the whole time, but still really beneficial. Or you can do it with Shoulder Charge with Seismic Strike. Same thing. Run around, slam into a couple enemies. As long as you hit a low level one that dies, you're good to go. Keep running, slam into the next one. So I use this probably for more than 50% of the laurels I got across all of Guardian games can't honestly say enough good things about this one so if you've got it put it on go grind out most of your activities that you need for medals and stuff with this thing and then specific bounty ones we'll talk about here next anything solar ability related i'm going to steer you guys towards hallow fire heart so it's going to give you ability to reach in charge for solar abilities all the time and then when your super is full it's going to be noticeably faster so anytime you are running around and needing solar ability kills my advice probably go do those types of things in a lost sector where you can find groups of enemies that you can kill quickly uh but still if you have your super charged like if you're gonna hit a rally flag on whatever planet you're going to and then head to say a lost sector i need you know 10 grenade super energy kills or 10 grenade kills with a solar ability Okay, so something like Incendiary Grenade, you can go to Dreaming City with Aphex Conduit, the bottom right-hand corner Lost Sector, for example. Anything where you find a big group of enemies, chunk the grenade in the middle, and if you hit that rally flag, your super's up, and by the time that grenade explodes, kills a bunch of enemies, your grenade is going to recharge fairly quickly, and you can go to the next section of enemies, throw another grenade, you'll probably be done with those bounties fairly quickly. But if your super is charged and not used, you're going to be able to get those ability kills, be it solar or grenade, uh, recharge very quickly so use those as much as you can nice way to knock out some bounties last couple i'll mention here mask of the quiet one gain ability energy when you are damaged i would probably use this one if you're going void because the other two seem to be beneficial for solar and arc in a better way but if you're going for void gain ability energy when you're damaged all the stuff you're going to be doing you're going to get damaged all the time so that's good and when you're critical and you get a kill you get healed so it's a nice way to keep you in the mix much more so you're still out there gathering ability energy constantly so mask of the quiet one is good if you need void super kills, uh, Doomfang Pauldrons is good. Uh, melee kills give you super energy, improve Sentinel Shield, you get an extra throw. Overall, just a pretty good way to get that void super kills if you need them. And that's mostly what this one's for. It's not going to help you with too much else, though. So that pretty much wraps that one up. Kind of an honorable mention here, Armamentarium gives you an additional grenade, but most of the other ones are really going to help you out. But if you need like art grenade kills, for example, specifically, and even if you're running in something like Vanguard Strikes and Grenadier is up, you might not be able to throw the grenade quite as frequently as they would be charging. So this is where this can be beneficial if you just have to go straight for like a bounty for grenades, maybe. But overall, I'd say the other ones are still probably going to be generally better almost all the time. For the Hunter, you've got quite a few, so we're going to run through these fairly quickly. Uh, one that's going to be really beneficial for Hunters is if you go similar. Again, it's going to be Arc. And then if you go Top Tree for Arc Hunter, you're going to be able to combine Gambler's Dodge. So when you dodge near an enemy, you get your melee up. And then if you punch an enemy with that Top Tree you get and you get a kill with your melee ability, you get your dodge back up. So it's literally Dodge, Punch, Dodge, Punch, Dodge, Punch. And you can do that over and over and over. And also the fact that we'll stack damage. And then if you pair it with this one, Liar's Handshake, you're going to get health back and deal extra damage. So your punches are just going to hit really hard. All you got to do is get near an enemy, dodge. You'll kind of be behind them. So turn around, punch them in the face. Find another enemy, dodge, punch, dodge, punch. It works really, really well. And it's one of those few ways as a hunter where you can continually make laurels in just about any activity. PvP is its own thing. Those are just going to probably be as you get through a PvP match. They're just going to naturally happen. But pretty much anything else. Gambit, Strikes, Destinations, and Forges. 
punching and dodging, you can do this just pretty much nonstop and earn all the laurels that you need to. So Liar's Handshake pairs really well with that combination. So like this is like kind of my top dog for everything for extra power on those punches. So you punch harder and the healing back because you're going to be kind of in the mix, like taking a lot of damage. So getting those heals is really going to help you out. I'm going to put Liar's Handshake kind of on the top of everything. Everything else is going to be somewhat specific, so we can go through them fairly quickly. Young Ahamkara Spine, if you want uh, trip, ma trip Mines to have a bigger blast radius and also give you ability energy back on kill, those are going to be helpful for that. Shinobu's Vow, you get a double skip grenade, and when you get damage from those skip grenades, you're going to get some of that ability energy back there, so good for art grenade kills. Uh, Kepri Sting, if you need void melee kills, which is a weird one always, uh, you're actually going to be able to make your smoke bombs do 150% more damage, which is pretty crazy. Very, very beneficial there if you need to grind out those smoke bomb kills. They're not the easiest things to get, but this can help with that. Raiden Flux, chained arc staff abilities, buff damage, and duration. So if you need arc super kills, for example, or you, you know, you're doing all the arc melees and your supers up and you want to switch over to Raiden Flux for a minute, I would advise it because your super is going to last a lot longer and you're going to do more damage. So you can wipe a whole like room of a lost sector out, half of a like complete round of enemies on Gambit. Definitely a good way to use an arc strider super with Raiden Flux for sure. Lucky Raspberry, Arc Bolt Grenade will chain, and if it does a full chain, you're guaranteed to get a full grenade recharge, but it will give you energy, a random amount of energy back from that chaining of the grenade that you'll do. So if you like Arc Bolt Grenades and you want to use those a lot, uh, Lucky Raspberry is going to be beneficial there as well. If you need Solar Melee Kills, Ophidius Bath, it's two knife charges. Now, if you use the weighted throwing knife and you can get those precision kills on some enemies, um, hopefully with a big head, for example, then you're going to be able to continually recharge that after every you know, uh, precision kill as it is, but you're not always going to hit those. So having a backup charge is a good thing. Um, uh, so double melee charge is always a good thing there. As I mentioned, dodging a lot, dodging and punching, dodging and punching, uh, gain a second dodge charge. Now, hopefully your dodge is a good thing. Uh, but if there's some reason you need a second charge instead, and you're finding yourself having issues with dodging timing or something of that nature, six coyote will give you that second, ch uh, charge. But honestly, if you can just get that dodge near something, get that melee up and punch, Liar's Handshake is going to serve you much better on that one. Now, Gwai's Invest, if you need Spectral Blades like Void Super Kills, this one for sure, because the more enemies you kill before you turn back into stealth mode, it's going to give you even more energy back into your super. So if you're going for Void uh, Super Kills, Gwai's Invest is definitely the way to go. And there's really not much else on the second page, so that covers most of the ones. If you guys have any others that you like for Hunters, let me know in the comments below. Now let's get to the Warlocks. Finally, for, for the Warlocks, we've got quite a few as well. So you've got Crown of Tempest is Arc Ability Kills, Restore Arc Abilities. Pretty much a nice perpetual cycle there. All good. And then also for your Void, or for your Arc Super, your Storm Trance, if you cast that one, you're going to have it for even longer. If you pair this with Top Tree Arc Warlock, you're going to have Arc Web. So your abilities are going to get you potentially some energy back on top of that. And then if you do Transcendence paired with Crown of Tempest, your Storm Trance Super, I swear, lasts forever. So definitely a good way to run Arc Supers here. I have another world. Um, it basically buffs all ability regen all the time. Pretty straightforward. It marks priority targets, which is not that big of a deal, but if you just leave this one on and other subclasses that may not have specific exotics for them, you're going to get ability regen nearly all, just a little bit boost to everything all the time. Not a bad thing at all. Nezrak Sin, Void Kills Increase Ability Regen. Now this is void damage, so it's not just abilities. Now your grenades, your melees, your supers, all that stuff is going to count, but also void weapons, hard light in void mode, uh, graviton lance. Anything that does void damage is going to count and help with ability regen. So if you have void stuff you got to do, throw this thing on there. It's going to help across the board. And again, also put a void weapon on in that energy slot that you can use quite a bit. So that's why I say hard light because that thing can do void damage and it's an auto rifle and it's in a pretty good place right now. So all the void damage you can do with this one will get those abilities back also very, very frequently. So don't forget about this one. Definitely one that can get overlooked. If you need solar grenade kills, Sun Bracers is your friend. Uh, basically, melee kills are going to give you an unlimited amount of solar grenade energy for about five seconds. You can get a, usually get off about four to five grenades, but you can just paint a small area with solar grenades, kill a bunch of enemies, and probably knock out whatever solar grenade uh, bounty you're working on. 
Also, the solar grenades last a lot longer too. So even if you just have that single one and your melee is not up, you throw one grenade, it's going to be able to cook down either a boss or some bigger enemy and still be able to potentially finish them off with that grenade. Controverse hold. You have the improved charging of void grenades. Also, the fact that you're harder to kill while you're charging those grenades and those charged grenades, the amount of damage that they do is going to be able to return some energy back to you so you can continually repeat this process. So, Controverse Hold, definitely a good thing to consider for anything Void Grenade related. Slap that thing on there, you will thank me. Now, there's actually a bounty where you need your Arc Soul uh, to get some kills. If you have Getaway Artist, it turns it into Super Arc Buddy, and that thing is going to be able to do a lot more kills quicker, especially if you can find a, a decent-sized group of enemies, Escalation Protocol, Core Terminus Lost Sector, anything like that. Slap this thing on there, and then your Arc Buddy is just going to turn into this little machine gun, knocking off enemies left and right, and that will knock that bounty out much quicker. So it's basically only for that bounty, but still one I did end up using because I had to think about it, and I was like, oh yeah, that thing still exists. Finally, the last one. You may need solar super kills, which Dawnblade's probably going to be your easier way for sure, but Well of Radiance technically also counts. If you're standing in a Well of Radiance and you're killing enemies, they're going to drop laurels. They're going to count for that. So if you gain super energy for kills and assist inside Well of Radiance, so if you get super energy back inside Well of Radiance and say you're trying to help out a team in Gambit or you're in a strike boss situation or something, uh, where you're Well of Radiance instead of a Dawnblade, then this is going to let you still kill enemies, still make laurels as their, quote, ability kills, as you are buffed by Well of Radiance. And this is going to help you get that energy back faster. So, Phoenix Protocol, good for Well of Radiance if you're running it. Don't forget about that one. And again, all of these, of course, if you have them, cool. If you don't, just a little bit more patience may be involved. For the weapons, I'm going to talk about two weapons. One briefly here, Bad Juju, kills refill the magazine and increase damage and grant super energy. So this is not a bad one, but again, pulses are kind of okay right now. This one's not bad. If you have a whole bunch of like mid-level enemies and you can just constantly keep firing this pulse rifle, kill him, getting them some super energy back up, you get increased damage and you get, you know, a continuously refilling magazine. If there's a bunch of low levels, it can be pretty beneficial. It's not too shabby, actually. But it's mostly just for super energy, nothing about melees, grenades, or anything like that. The one that I really want to shout out is Monte Carlo. I use this thing probably just as much as I was using the insurmountable skull for it on my Titan uh, most of the time, easily 50% or more. Melee damage reduces the melee ability cooldown. Now, I know not everybody may have this. It is a random drop at this point because it was during the season of Undying. But any damage you do with this weapon, it's an auto rifle, you have 43 bullets. Any of those bullets that does damage helps recharge your melee ability. Now, many of the things I've talked about between these characters have been melees that recharge themselves between both the Titan and the Hunter for sure. And then the Warlock, a lot of abilities there as well if you do ability damage helping something else out. So always having a melee that is just about 10 bullets of damage away from being fully charged is invaluable. So if you have... Monte Carlo, my advice is just leave it on whatever character you're playing on. If you switch to another one, put this thing on as well, because always being able to have that melee up uh, has been really beneficial for me. And I'll say most activities, like say if I ran on my Titan, I was just doing that insurmountable skull fort, arc melees pretty much constantly. Not worrying as much about supers, not really worrying as much about bounties, because in the activities themselves, you need to usually kill combatants, finish a certain number of whatever it is, and then collect laurels, which is typically the harder one. The other two are generally going to happen, or it's just a certain number of matches or activity completions. Those two aren't hard, but you want to make sure you're getting as many laurels as possible. So running around with a class that can just sit there and burn through ability, 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 by like melee, 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 over and over, or as a hunter, melee dodge, melee dodge, melee dodge. Like the way that you can use the melees frequently just to continue to punch kill things, get laurels, and then just run to the next group of enemies and do it again. Uh, that's how I got most of mine done. So hopefully these exotic lists help you guys out. If there's any I missed, let me do know down in the comments below. But hopefully this is a pretty inclusive list. I think I got just about everything I could think of. If you did enjoy the video, drop a like below. It is always appreciated. If you haven't subbed to the channel before, I'm going to have a couple more guides about Guardian games and, of course, always more stuff for you guys. So if you haven't subbed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We are climbing to 50k and not that far away. If you have subbed but haven't hit that alert bell yet, please do. That will help my videos make it into your feed, which is always helpful, making it through the YouTube algorithms. And, of course, you guys can find me on Twitch and Twitter. It's Ebontis on both. I'll probably be streaming a Pit of Heresy solo or something. Uh, other stuff, is, of course, as we go through. Maybe other games as well. So stay 
stay tuned there. And then if you guys want to support me directly, my Patreon link is down below. So thank you very much. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, share it with other people you know that might find it helpful too. Have a good one. I'll see you soon. And may the best class win.